Today's a very special day. I have my glasses on and I just got a new pair of glasses. So what do you want to top choose a story today? I usually choose stories that are interesting and special to me. And I think a lot of you out there are YouTubers. Now YouTube nowadays is a common thing. Even I try to get subscribers, more views and likes. So I can make money of course, but I'm just a child. I still in the learning process. But I just want to educate you about some YouTubers that are famous. They're historical and they're great. And they do good for the world. And one of them I found out was Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is a, officially a YouTuber and many of you may know him. Mr. Beast is a very famous YouTuber, over 136 million subscribers, which is a lot in YouTube nowadays. The furthest subscriber YouTube, uh, YouTube channel has got is more than 200 million subscribers. So why is Mr. Beast this famous and popular? For starters, he is a very nice and thanksgiving person. He likes to, well, give money to other people in his videos. He also turns challenges and faces a lot of them. He even signs up a campaign like T Team Trees or Team Seas. And they're great of overall. But what did he start with? So first of all, he was born in North Carolina in a small, little, bit not busy town. It was a rural village and it was nothing to talk about and nothing special so at the town he usually liked playing at home he liked playing legos and he liked playing with bricks and other stuff and he didn't know youtube back then because it didn't quite exist really and at that time he also liked passionate hobbies for example if he likes lego he will continue lego for a long period of time which is same for this subject as he continued to grow, he also started to like baseball, like Babe Ruth and other famous baseball players. And so he was around 10 years old. But here's the catch. He was very shy. He was not that social because his, first of all, he didn't go outside that much. And he didn't have, he still went in his town and didn't talk to anybody except for his mom. So he, did, he wasn't quite interactively social. social. And by the way, he is only around 10 years old, which is the time for people to mostly develop like myself. But his, well, his idea is not social and shy, very shy. And even inside practicing and training baseball, he would put his cap lowered down and the coach would put it up for him. He was a very young and shy boy, but that all changed. He started becoming more social because he was he was very shy. His mom tried to help him, but that wasn't enough to convince him. Soon he found out that he is going to learn in the learning process. The learning process, he can't just stay at home and not do anything at all. Just playing Lego bricks and practicing baseball by himself. So his mom wanted him to become more social and that quite worked. First of all, he went to school. He went to school and just like any normal kid, he had failures, he had bad grades, but he also sometimes had good. And he is just a normal boy and teachers said that he was very shy, which is of course the case. But when he got home and found out a platform, this was a very early platform back then. YouTube was very rare and nobody was talking about it that then there's only a few videos and his favorite creators they were not much than not very good there were only some a few animations that were okay but he figured out he could become the next youtube superstar what if he could become the next youtube superstar maybe so he figured out he liked to talk about videos with uh, with by himself and he spent most of the of his time inside his house and just going on his laptop and doing things and searching up for some youtube styles so he searched a lot of youtube videos and back then remember there wasn't a lot of youtube videos and youtube wasn't quite popular popular 
popularity of YouTube is not that good. And he was the only one thinking about it every day inside his homeroom class. Soon he also found out another friend. He uh, he was around a teenager by then, so he met a couple of friends. One of them is the famous known Chris. Chris is one of his very, very early friends. And he has also liked YouTube. The two of them were only the only ones in the classroom and a homework class and college that only talked about, well, guess it, YouTube. Nobody else liked it. Nobody thought about it. And the two were often picked, picked up and thought as very annoying. They thought YouTube was not a good source. And then Mr. Beast, or his name is Jimmy Donaldson, actually. So he decided to think of something. He decided to look on YouTube one day. And he saw YouTube Studio, and he entered it. And he saw that he can monetize. He can make money and he can make absolute millions of dollars by making videos with views and, and subscribers and likes. Just like monetizing. It's like doing something on the internet that gained popularity and then people give him the money. It was a great way of making a job. And he was like, wait a minute, can you make money out of this? Very interesting. So... He looked on Google and he was like, oh, this is a real thing. Okay, so he showed it to his mom called Sue and I didn't tell her before. His mom was like, you can't live on this thing. You have to go to college in high school. So Chris and Mr. Beast, or I should say Jimmy, okay. So Jimmy and Mr. Jimmy and Chris were just in college, but then he decided to drop out. Every day in college, he still tried to upload videos about gaming, about his social life. He even talks about other YouTubers like PewDiePie. And it was a very interesting and social interaction with YouTube. He also found way more friends and a community as well. So Chris and Mr. Beast decided to play some acts. He decided that his YouTube channel can go further. He decided that his YouTube channel can reach more views, subscribers, and likes. So he can, he can get money and do something about it. So, one day, he decided to make a video. A video about him counting to 10,000. And no other YouTube, I mean 100,000. So no other YouTuber has done this challenge before. So he thought, he was crazy and other people were like this guy's crazy and but and even chris bought so but soon mr beast's counting video started to gain well popularity and views and views he soon got his first real money about 20 bucks not so like 20 grand but it was still an exciting moment for him the moment he showed to his mom his mom was like okay you could try and make money out of that wait do you mean you want to drop out of college? And uh, and he was like, yeah, sure. And his mom was like, okay, then. Um, I'm not so sure about that. So they they ended up trying to, well, argue each other. But in the end, his mom agreed, and soon he quit college. He decided to make way more interesting challenges, and he soon realized with Chris that. If you make interesting challenges like counting to a hundred thousand or even reading the dictionary or doing something crazy to other people, that would get a lot of popularity. He also thought that if he helped people, he would gain better and more and more money and more popularity. And soon he had this idea. He first gained money, okay? He gained money about five thousand or ten thousand dollars, and soon he was like um a manager and then the manager was and then the delivery guy was like yeah so he said to give to to well the manager gave him ten thousand dollars so it was very very strange well how did this happen first of all he made youtube videos and youtube content and he about he was about to monetize he only made around uh a thousand dollars and less so but he decided 
to get ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, maybe. And so he used Chris to film his first ever viral video. Him giving ten thousand dollars to a homeless man on a on the middle of the street, and it was so emotional. And he also thought that helping other people like this could also help and change the entire world. And it was a great learning experience for him, and he started to become more social as well. So as he continued to help people, he deeply liked the satisfaction of the job and idea. So he decided that if he made popular videos, he could gain money and give that amount of money to homeless people. And that was planned. His mom was am amazed by him, and he couldn't see how the job could even get. She started to see the socializing and how she wa he was actually well improving, and it was a great learning experience. It was only like a hundred video. He uploaded a hundred videos before even his mom found out, which is so crazy. So, the lesson is that you must learn from your things and don't be shy and social. Anyways, let's continue the story. He soon started to do many more challenges. Buy every, every food item in the shop and give it to charity and do other things. He even started his first restaurant called Beast Burger. And, all, and he could say he made a sign that said that. He had free food. He even stuck a sign in the airplane. And with his community and his friends together, he helped make a ton of people get free food. And also money and even an iPad or tablet. And the lines were, and that day were so long. His co community had to keep in check. Meanwhile, he also started to make future plans. He continued to play challenges for other people, give money to homeless people, and help other social citizens. Together, he also gained a community. He gained his friends such as Carl and Chandler, and made a community and a channel called Mr. Beast all together. Soon, he was skyrocketing. And one day, he decided to find and, well, contact many people. He tweeted out a post that said that he wanted to plant 20 million trees because he reached 20 million subscribers, which is a crazy idea. He can't just plant, oh, I'm going to plant the seed for 20 million. And his goal, his future goal, was to reach 20 million by the end of 2022. And that was a crazy goal. That was way too crazy. So, well, Mark Rober helped out. Mark Rober is a YouTuber and also a NASA scientist. He is a very trained and skillful person. And together, he is also older and wiser. And he taught Mr. Beast many lessons of how he could make drones and how he could drop seeds. It was a very exciting experience. And literally... I even donated a few dollars in teen trees. So, at that time, Mark Rober and Mr. Beast were basically helping each other out to plant the trees. And they promised that each daughter would bring out each and every new tree. Each and every new tree will be planted and grown. And soon, the world will be filled with trees. And they promised that. Soon, an, a whole army and a community has worked together to plant all these 20 million trees by the end of December 2022. And together, he is still a marvel. His, he, his company has grown, he has made a lot of money, and he even started another organization, Team Tree, Team Seas. Team Seas is also another organization where all these YouTubers and friends co contact and work together to m fish out all the plastic inside the ocean. And it's very helpful. I mean, it was a great learning source. And I learned a lot from how I should not put plastic and other things into my homeland river and lake and just seeing all these people throw plastic bags and other 
dirty, rotten flesh into the river of my grandparents' house made me feel bad. And thinking of Mr. Beast again made me feel that I had to do something. So I grabbed out a robotic arm and started fishing out all the garbage. That was what I did. So in the end, I just piled it inside my garage and said my mom to do something about it and recycle it. That was a way I learned from Mr. Beast. Anyways, Team Seas is a very big organization of how people collect trash in the ocean. Mark Rover used a robot and Mr. Beast uses a thousand people community to pick out all the trash inside the ocean. And it was great. I learned a lot from it. So in the end, his organizations, his giving money to people, and how he all started off small with just a little webcam, and he even saved single dollars to make a microphone. Yep, he saved dollars to to buy a microphone to record his findings. So it was a very crazy and adventurous adventure with Mr. Beast and how he has grown these days. And soon he continues to do challenges. He continues to do challenges with his community. He makes money and he gives money to other people. He donates them and he does a lot of things to keep people in check. And soon he realizes a lesson. Don't be shy. Be social. And moreover, you must, well, have to do something about the world. Have to do something about the nature. If the world is in big trouble such as homeless people and people with no money no job and they're homeless we should help them we should be thankful that we have what we have we should be thankful of how lucky i have i have a cam to record this we have to be lucky to how we see youtube and mr beast also feels lucky himself he has helped so much people and he's such a kind person and I love, I very like, I really like this video. So go smash that subscribe button and subscribe to Mr. Beast as well. He's a great YouTuber. So that was the end of this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more stories and videos like this about famous people, like even some people like YouTubers. So this is my first very special video. I'm actually quite embarrassed of how i i can go such a crazy topic but anyways i just want to educate you about the story and the life of mr beast i also learned from a documentary by curiosity stream and informed me some information about mr beast when he was young it's a curiosity stream so if you have money or if you are just a kid, little kid you can ask your parents to buy curiosity stream and moreover there's a bunch of documentaries there that you can watch and you can see. And you can stay tuned for more. And also stay tuned for more of my videos. So, thank you for listening. Again, thank you for listening and stay tuned.